Before you begin, remove the battery, service cover, and optical drive. Removal. Remove the two 6mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with the keyboard icon that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Place the notebook on its side and open the display panel. While supporting the notebook, gently press the exposed area of the keyboard in the optical drive bay to partially release it from the top cover. Turn the notebook right side up. Lift the rear edge of the keyboard and rotate the keyboard toward the front of the notebook until you have access to the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Caution. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard from the base enclosure. Replacement. Position the keyboard on the notebook so that you have access to the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board. Caution. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Push the locking bar down to secure the keyboard ribbon cable in the keyboard ZIF connector. Rotate the keyboard toward the center of the notebook and insert the tabs on the front of the keyboard into the slots on the top cover. Lower the keyboard into position and press along the edges of the keyboard to secure it to the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the two 6mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with a keyboard icon that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure.